Whew. Just finished up the last call of today. And let me go ahead and, and we're starting to get a sense of what's going to happen. Uh, I'll probably keep taking calls in December, but I'm gonna start the training because uh, you'll know why in a minute. But if you wanna set a call, hit the link below, go answer the questions, set your phone call, and then uh, we'll get into it. Today was very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Just finished off the call, I'm not mentioning any names, with a young man who wants to be a passport bra. Um, talented guy, he's done some stuff in life. And the call actually cleared up some things because here is the task for me. What kind of training can I provide to take this young man from where he is to where he wants to be? Because, you know, some of the, during this conversation, it kind of took me way, way back to when I was living in that boarding house, when I was working these regular jobs, it took me back there. And it's, it's like, he didn't have a full understanding of what's in front of him in terms of accomplishing this. Now, I've said some stuff about Passport Bros, and once again, we're not gonna turn this into a Passport Bros channel, we're not gonna get into it. Um, being his age and wanting to travel the world and experience the world, I think it's a natural, natural thing. Um, talked about when I lived in Japan and when I traveled the world, it's, it's very much a natural thing to want to go explore and go to places and see things. So, but here's the problem. And the day was really interesting because I talked to someone who had a million dollar business. I talked to someone that got self-deleted. I talked to someone who's semi-retired and you know, it's all over the place and everybody wants to make money online, but the knowledge space is very limited because there's a lot of people who are just saying that, hey, you can just start doing this and you can make all this money online. It ain't that easy. It's not that easy. Um, one of the things that um, we discussed, because he, he's, he's very talented, he's got some skill sets, um, is what other people are doing and I didn't understand because, you know, when I look at the YouTube channel, I know how to audit it. And um, this is something a lot of people don't know how to do. And I was unaware that a lot of people don't know how to audit a YouTube channel, how to look at a YouTube channel, how to see which, because literally when you know how to audit a YouTube channel, you can go through their channel and you can see which videos took their channel off. You can just kind of go back through it. And we did that on a few channels and, um, you know, it's like, I think the gravity of the situation kind of hit me today with this call because right now, one of the things, and I, I told this young man, it's just like, your problem is you don't have any skill sets. You don't have a skill set, a valuable skill set. And this is one of the big issues that goes along with setting things up and doing things and making money and building businesses. Because one of the things that I told him, and I've mentioned it before, is when I started on this digital nomad path, I worked for four months. I didn't make any money for four months. I didn't make a penny for four months. And this is something that many people who will be ultimately successful in the future, they will go through this process of working really hard, putting together stuff, working on stuff, putting stuff together, and 
they're not going to be making money while they're being working. And th this, th this, this is, I won't, I want to call it a glitch, but it's part of the process. And I'm, I'm being real honest with people when we have these conversations. And one of the things that really stood out to me is the number of people who do not understand the skill sets and the things that they need to be successful. That's huge. The understanding the skill sets, understanding the things that you need. Um, once again, let's see, I don't, I don't have it on me. I don't have my phone on me. Um, today's smartphones are incredible devices. And depending upon your gender, your, your niche, your genre, you can start a YouTube channel with a smartphone. I would advise you if you don't have a lot of money to start making videos, but here's the thing that you're going to have, and this is going to be the problem. I noticed this when I went out to a house and I did a video using my iPhone 11, I believe, cause you know, um, and just walking around with the, the, and the audio was great. Made a YouTube video. And this year, I did not go out and get the, I have an iPhone 14. I did not get the 15 because the improvements were not worth it for me to buy the 15. Because essentially, I have a, I have a, I have a 14, I got a 13, and I got a 12. And I've noticed the difference between the phones. And um, one of the things that you gotta understand, and this is gonna like, I can already tell you, there's gonna be something called YouTube School. And it's gonna be, uh, I gotta really crank out the work for YouTube School because one of the things that I, I see people doing in this, could be helpful is they watch a lot of YouTube videos by people who have YouTube channels who would talk about how I got 200,000 subscribers or this or that. And then they stop getting those subscribers like that. Or uh, I found this girl, she's made some really good videos and she just disappeared for two months. And this is something I have seen that has been common. Someone will come on the YouTube scene they would make a few videos, they would do well, and they would just disappear. And part of, let's call this the new YouTube. The new YouTube is very, very different than the old YouTube. The new YouTube pushes new YouTubers. I've never seen anything like it. It pushes new, tuber, new YouTubers like nothing I've ever seen before. And it's just not like the Sam Olix, the bodybuilder, but a number of channels got that because this is what happens then these people who started these new youtube channels their first videos got an incredible push and then they got subscribers and they got views and the second video got an incredible push and um it's very very different when you're operating in the proper niche and when you're doing certain things and when you got things set up so that's going to be part of the YouTube school. And uh, that, because essentially a lot of people who answered the questionnaires, the links below, uh, you can go ahead and take it. Um, they want to start a YouTube channel and there is a lack of understanding of the things that you need for YouTube. Uh, and I'm going to put that in the course the, I'm going to call it the minimum setup and I'm going to call it the baller setup. And, um, I mean, like I said, this, this last call today really got to me because like I said, it took me back, it took me really, really back. And I was like, I was remembering what it was like to be in that boarding house, to be living, working, and not to have a thorough understanding of the things that I needed in life 
to be successful. Because that's why I ended up in that boarding house, because I did not have an understanding of the things I needed to be successful. I didn't have, um, I had no insights, I had no wisdom, I had nothing. And that's kind of where people are. They have nothing. And they don't have any friends, and they don't have any um, associates, and they don't have any family members that are on upper tiers to say, hey, do this, do this, do this. Like, my friend's son who went to Georgia Tech and got the $200,000 a year job at Apple, he is set for life. When his father dies, he's probably gonna inherit 20 million, if not more, probably more, because his dad may be around for another 20, 20 years, maybe 30, who knows? And he's gonna get a ton of money from his father. Plus, he's gotten a really good job. He's gotten a career. And this is the thing, he graduated from Georgia Tech, he went to Apple and he has a career. He started at 200K. It's only gonna go up. And I was looking at his situation. He's got a good father. His father taught him about credit. Um, dude's got like a ton of credit cards. And uh, then I looked at who I used to be, and I looked at this young man who has these dreams, these ambitions, these goals. And one of the things is you just cannot look at a YouTube channel and make certain assumptions. Because uh, I will say this, and I'm not trying to start any fights, but the more popular Passport Bro channels are Passport Bro channels because their channels make them a lot of money. It's not saying anything wrong with it, but if you had a YouTube channel that was paying you 10, $15,000 a month, yeah, you could be a Passport Bro, you could live in the Bahamas, you could, you could live anywhere you wanted to in the world, virtually outside of, I would say, London or Germany or the more expensive European cities. But you can, actually you could live in London. You making 15,000 a month from YouTube consistently, you could live in London. So that's kind of the point I think that people are not taking into consideration because when you have a successful YouTube channel and you're getting a lot of views and you're getting that YouTube money, things are really, really different for you as a person. And there's a bunch of people out in the world who have no skill sets. And that, that right there is the thing that is really kind of hammered home this week is the lack of skill sets. Everybody has a desire. I want to make money online, but they don't have the skill sets. They don't have the things like when I first started, I didn't start with a book. I didn't start with a YouTube channel. I didn't start with a blog. I started with all three at the same time. And the uh, components of building an online business, and every time I put up a video talking about writing, I get no views. And writing is a critical component of making money online. It's a critical component. And this is something that a lot of people just don't get. But today, was a pivotal day because I didn't really, you know, because most of the people I've been talking to, they don't have no money. And that was an expectation that I would be talking to a lot of people who want to make money online because they don't have no money. But when I started talking to a guy with the millionaire, the multi-million dollar business, that kind of like, oh, okay. All right, that's different. Because what he's going to need is going to be completely different than the person with no skill sets, no money, no access. It's going to be a completely different than what he's going to need. Cause I mean, it, I gotta, cause I record it. Cause oh yeah, I record these sessions and I gotta watch his session again. And I gotta sit down and write because what he needs is, it's going to take two years to build out what he needs. That's how much stuff he needs. So we got that situation and then we have this other situation and then we have some more situations and it's, um, 
I'm really, really going to have to work really hard to put this new training together because, you know, I have an understanding that so many people have blind spots and things that they just simply don't know. They just simply don't know. And that this is one of the reasons I did this because I'm talking to a lot of people and I want to say thank you to everyone who's sat down and talked with me because they shared a lot about their lives and their experiences. And uh, I think this is one of the best things I've ever done because right now, the new training is gonna be so different from anything else that I've ever done before because it has to be, it has to be. It has to be really different, it has to be exploratory, and more importantly, it has to be transformative because, um, I was talking to a guy who did video editing and we start we start laughing about shorts and his opinion of shorts is the same as my opinion of shorts but right now youtube is pushing shorts because they're in competition with tiktok and um one of the things that really really stood out to me is the mindset you got to have a certain mindset to make money online. You got to be, I'm going to use words and I want you guys to listen to me carefully. You have to be ruthless with yourself. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, there was one thing I wanted to show him. There was this girl who represents only fan girls. She runs a marketing agency and she made like $50,000. And I was trying to find a video to show this young man. Think what you want to think about OnlyFans. I can understand your opinion on OnlyFans. But this girl has a talent and a skill set that makes her money. And if you go back to the early days of the internet, do you know one of the reasons that the internet is the way that we have it today is because of pornography? Pornography, drugs, and some other illicit things have pushed the internet. We would not have a YouTube the way that we have it without pornography. I know that's gonna be mind blowing, but when you look at the early things that really pushed the growth of the internet, pornography was huge. Pornography was huge and I know you can think what you want to think about OnlyFans and all this other stuff, but it is not going to disappear. OnlyFans and pornography and all this is here. This is here to stay. It ain't going nowhere. It is not going anywhere. If anything, it's going to become even bigger and larger. And, you know, one of the things that is in my mind is the skill sets. The skill sets, the skill sets, the skill sets, the skill sets. You gotta have skill sets to make money online. Now, if you don't have these skill sets at the moment, that's not a deal killer, but you gotta be open to learning the skill sets and being open to learning the skill sets is setting yourself up to be in that container. Now, what is the container? The container is that area where you're learning and you're not making money. And that right there, cause you know, I've asked people, I was like, look, you understand while you're in this process of building and stuff, you're not gonna be making any money. I, cause that, that right there is the draw. And this thing has to be bigger than just making money. It has to be bigger than just doing this to make money. And like I said, this last call, it, it really, I told him, I said, thank you for signing up for the call. You've given me a lot to think about because this young man who doesn't have skill sets is the representative of most of the people that I've talked to. He is at, let's go ahead and say, he's base one, you know, young, bright, but doesn't have a lot of skill sets. He's base one and then we, we got people from base one to base five and all the people from one to five. It's, it's about skill sets. It's about not having these skill sets. And um, 
doing these things and setting things up and working with people because you know Gary V was talking about create this thing of documentation and putting yourself out there which I think got misconstrued because document documenting what you're doing and building that's okay but some people did not get to the point of creating and building something and literally setting the world on fire. And this is really, really huge with creating an online identity, building an online profile, building skill sets and building certain things. Because uh, one of the things that I've done, like I don't have a LinkedIn page because my LinkedIn page was from the days when I was selling office furniture and all my connections. These were people I had nothing in common with. We, we, we could not, you know, I haven't gotten around to starting a new LinkedIn page. I got to work on that. But, you know, um, one of the things that you really have to understand is the connectivity in building the skill sets in creating this transform transformative skill set and building these things out because, um, you know, like I said, uh, I'm just having conversations with people, talking to people, and it's not a sales call, there's no sales pitch. And I'm gonna tell you why. During these conversations, I'm finding out what people need. So, before we get on the phone call, there can't be a sales pitch because with proper selling, you're selling people what they need. So this is a fact finding mission. So there can't be a sales pitch. There can't. Um, the guy in the, with the million dollar business, he's definitely gonna sign up. Once I figure it out and give him something, he's definitely gonna sign up. And um, a lot of people are gonna sign up because we're going to be talking about something transformative and we're going to be talking about something different. And, you know, I had a lot of people who put mentorship and I was just brutally honest, like mentorship is like more time in your face, trying to help you getting on the phone with you, talking to you. I said, that's going to be really, really expensive. So for you, we can't do a mentorship because number one, a lot of these people have nothing. They have nothing. They have nothing. They have no YouTube channel. They have no blog. They have nothing. So they're going to be very much starting from scratch. And this is going to take some time, effort, and energy for them to grow. So a mentorship is not the appropriate thing for these people because I want to consider them, they're, 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 these folks are going to be doing the baby steps. And they don't need a mentorship. They need the proper training, the proper information. And then the guy with the multi-million dollar business, he needs the mentorship because he, he's in the study mode. He, he's really in the study mode. And he's got so much stuff to do and to build out to fulfill his wishes and dreams. And then, um, you know, it, it's really interesting because like I said, this last call took me back, took me way, way back. And I know what it's like to want to have things and you can't get them and to be in this situation and, you know, with a deeper understanding. So one of the things that we have to do is communicate with people and get a greater understanding of where they are. And also, one of the things I'm telling people is like, this will not be an overnight process. You're not going to, bam, start this thing and start making all this money. Now, with that said, there may be a few um, special circumstances where people will come out and start exploding and making crazy money. It can happen, it can happen. Um, but traditionally, and this is why I say like when I started, I worked full time and I didn't do a lot with um, building out this stuff. I was working full time on my projects, 
And that's something a lot of people, I don't really think they understand because most people have jobs. And I was coming from a business where I was used to working for myself and I had the skill sets and the scenarios and the um, processes to work for myself and to keep going. And there, there's gonna be a lot of things because the first thing in the training, I can already see, it's gonna be the mindset course because YouTube is predominated on short-term thinking. Hey, I tried drop shipping for seven days. <laughs> I tried to do this. And there's a YouTube channel and she's really successful and she just goes ahead and tries to do all these things. And she, she's honest. The majority of the things she tries, she don't make no money. And I think this is one of the things that her audience appreciates about her because she tells them the truth. Because that whole going to Google and pulling up news articles and sending them the spin bud, rewriting them and then selling them, I was chuckling at the whole time because I knew from the first minute of her video, it wasn't gonna work. I knew, I knew it wasn't gonna work. And it wasn't because I'm trying to be an asshole, it's because I understand the writing business from way back in the day. And I was like, that ain't gonna work. These uh, companies, and once again, I want you to really, really think about this. These companies, these publications, they have to make money, right? To have money to buy these articles. They're not gonna make money with, I'm gonna call it AI spin bot articles. They're not gonna make a lot of money with them. So I guarantee you with the emergence of AI, I guarantee you when you send these articles, they're gonna run it through an AI article checker. I guarantee that's gonna be the first thing. And when it comes back, this article was written 90% by AI, it's gonna hit the trash can. I guarantee it. I guarantee it's gonna hit the trash can. And this is, you know, cause like I said, I, I like watched like five of her videos and I first bit and watched it from the beginning to the end and then the end, it didn't work. It didn't, it didn't work. It didn't, it didn't work. It didn't work. And she gets crazy views. She gets crazy views. So like I said, I'm, I'm kind of in a spot here. Cause like I said, this last call really got to me in terms of who my target are. Cause he would be ground zero. And anything that would help him at ground zero would help people at point two, point three, point four, and point five. So he is, he's the baseline. I, I found my baseline today. I find my, the person that I need to be creating the training for and the articles and the, the mindset is huge because I'm not saying that people are stupid because they're not stupid but people have no clear understanding of the things that they need to be successful online. And that's gonna be in the first part of the course. Uh, it's gonna be really interesting. I can tell you, um, as I'm working on this, there's gonna be the course, there's gonna be a blog, there's gonna be books. There's gonna be a lot, there's gonna be a lot. And this is gonna be for the group training, which is gonna be the largest segment of this because that's where the largest group of people are because it's a lack of training. It's a lack of understanding of the training that is needed to become successful online. So this is where a lot of time is gonna go. And with the, you know, like I said, the mentorship portion, it's gonna be much smaller because it has to be because of time, energy, and efforts. But um, yeah, this is something I wish I had did a long time ago. I really wish I had did this a long time ago because it's given me the feedback and the, the stuff that I need to make better training to address the situations of people in the crowd. So if you wanna get on the phone call, cause like I said, I'm probably gonna start the training first part of December. And then uh, I'm gonna still take phone calls. I'm just gonna probably limit it to maybe because right now I'm taking a lot of phone calls, but I'm gonna probably limit it, but I'm gonna still take phone calls and still talk to people and uh, just kind of change it up a little bit. But yeah, the last phone call, it was a doozy. It was really a doozy. So if you wanna set up a phone call, go below, get on the link and we can talk.
All right, that's all I got for you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.